My name is Samuel Mayer. I'm a senior lecturer at the University of Auckland and a Rutherford Discovery Fellow. I'm also a faculty member at the Child Study Center at Yale University in the States. In my research, we study the psychology of music, why it is that humans make music and listen to music and are so motivated to participate in music. So we have two main tools that we use in the lab. One comes from traditional, sort of old-fashioned psychology research. We show them stimuli they've never seen before, and we measure their responses to them. So we know from experiments in the lab that when infants hear music that's intended to be soothing, it has reliable psychophysiological effects on them. It reduces their heart rate and calms them. What we don't really know yet very well is whether these sorts of immediate effects have cumulative effects. So that's one of the things that we're studying by doing randomized trials in the home. We also use methods of citizen science where we recruit people on the internet to play games, experiments that are basically disguised as games. As psychologists, we're really interested in phenomena that happen across our whole species, not just the people who happen to be able to come to your lab. So citizen science has made it much more feasible for psychologists to study humans in general, and I think that's really exciting. What we find when we study humans across many different societies is that there's always something there that prepares them to hear music and understand music and motivates them to produce music in the first place. It's kind of weird that we do this thing. <laughs> it's very odd that, that everybody has on their person a device that plays music and stores thousands and thousands of songs. That's weird. Um, you know, it's, not, it's not exactly keeping us alive. It's not exactly keeping us well fed, um, but we all do it. So one of the things that I think is exciting about being a psychologist and working on this topic is, is that we get to dig into these everyday behaviors and try to figure out why it is that we are the way we are. Thank you.